True story. Man in Korea has daughter who is suffering from atopic dermatitis. He, as a father, decides to create a brand to help her out. This brand starts to get so popular that other companies throughout Asia start knocking it off, and they actually have to create seals of certification and authenticity on the products to certify their legitimacy. The brand was titled Cosmetics Made by Father that featured very interesting ingredients such as carrot and eggplant and uh, noble rot extract, which is um, basically alcoholic fungus. And from 2012 onward, this brand saw such popularity that they took over international markets. The name is Papa Recipe, and I have tried every single vegan and cruelty-free product from the entire line, and I am here to tell you about the best of the best, the worst of the worst, and the shit that I wanted to hate but ended up loving. There is a cardinal sin that I have committed with walnut scrubs, and it is my double-duty beauty as your acne big sister to be fully forthcoming with you on this. But, um, holy shit! This was an adventure, and I mean, there's birds outside, the sun be shining. It's, it's about damn time we do another K-Beauty tier list. Do you remember the last one? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Why, why would you put walnut shells? It can't be that bad, right? Like this is not St. Ives Korean version. No, it's not, it must not be. As mentioned, Papa Recipe started in 2012 under a different name, and they basically have these separate lines with things like carrot or eggplant or yes, honey, which uh, as a pretentious vegan, I obviously did not try. But they've been perfect their formulas over the years and I have been trying them, including some of the blemish ones, since it is hard to find affordable K-beauty that really helps with acne. And um, I may have found some, although I, I, I also may have made some mistakes. As a purple person myself, there are very few eggplant products on the market that I absolutely love, and Papa Recipe has created some of them. So let's create a little tier list here, and let's start ranking some of these products. As far as our tier lists go, we have four categories, the top and most important one being Come to Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing as this is Papa Recipe, these are the products that I just want to fall into my shopping cart and into my hands. These are the products that I want on my face, and one of these products literally might be replacing my Pyongyang Yule Toner that I have been using for two years now. You have no idea what a big step this is for me. The second is Double Duty Beauty. These are the skincare products that really do the work. They are inexpensive and effective, and sometimes you can actually use them on multiple areas of the body, which I have had a lot of fun with. A step down is I skin care, but my skin doesn't care. Those are the products that you bought that you wanted to love and they just didn't work for me. Maybe they'll work for somebody else, but for my oily prone, acne prone skin, which uh, hi, by the way, is just having a moment, um, was not ideal. And then at the very bottom we have You're not my dad! Let's start with ranking one of these products. This right here is the Noble Rot Lifting Ampule. Now, what is a Noble Rot, you might ask? Well, I asked the same thing. You see, when I first read this, I read this as Noble Root, and I was like, oh, is this like an honest royal root of a plant? No, bitch. This is wine fungus. This is literally grape fungus. Essentially, this Noble Rot was shown by UC Davis to be a fungal growth on white grapes. And they found these in Napa in a bunch of the wineries, and they actually found that the grapes that had this rotting fungus had different different flavors, different profiles, and different benefits in the winemaking process. And as someone who does not drink alcohol and never has, I was quite intrigued as to how this might help with skin. But when we look at the ingredients, it's not just this noble rot, rotting ferment food stuff, but it's also got adenosine, raspberry ketones, salicylic acid, and hyaluronic acid. This is actually a silicone-free formula, which is quite interesting. You know, silicones are not bad, but some people don't like them. This is such a moisturizing, hydrating, and yes, lifting ampule. I'm actually surprised it goes onto the skin so smooth without any of those silicones. And again, silicones aren't bad, but if you're someone who doesn't like to use them, this is quite a favorite. This is also extremely hydrating, and yet it's safe for acne-prone skin. And as someone who has the acne-prone skin, this is doing double duty beauty for me. Yes, it is a lifting ampule. I find that it hydrates the outer layers of my epidermis, specifically my stratum corneum, and it feels divine. But because it also has this BHA, this salicylic acid, which is oil-soluble, it actually helps if you are blemish-prone. Now, who is this for? If you have adult acne, if you're looking for something lifting that is acne prone skin safe, and if you are someone who likes to drink rotting fermented beverages, this is an absolute. Now, on my little tier list, I don't know if this is come to mama or if this 
is Double Duty Beauty because I feel like this double duties it for me, but this has to be at one of the top tiers. And I've never seen Noble Rot in skincare before. I'm actually quite surprised and very, very excited about this. The fact that it is also essential oil and fragrance free is a top plus for me. And again, coming from this father who was making cosmetics for his daughter who was struggling with skincare concerns, it kind of makes sense. Now on the flip side, there is something that was not it for me. This blemish serum is one that I wanted to love. This is something that I wanted to adore. And as we know, K-Beauty is really great at making gentle skincare, but it's hard to find skincare that really helps with blemish and acne prone skin. So when I first saw this blemish serum with Galactomyces Ferment Filtrate, as well as having this gigantic bottle that is 50%, 50% post-consumer recycled plastic and 100% on the floor. I was extremely excited. This is five fluid ounces for a very good price and it is actually a pretty thick formula and it is hard to find good, inexpensive acne serums. Now, is this a great serum? Yes, but do I consider this a blemish buster? Shockingly, no. Although I did use this and although I think this is safe for acne prone skin, there aren't any ingredients in here that I really feel fight breakouts. I don't feel like this is for someone who is struggling with acne and looking to get into K-beauty. This is for somebody who wants hydration. Maybe you get a couple of pimples around your cycle, or maybe if you get stressed out, this is something that you can use in your routine and not have to worry about. This is a good product and I love the size, but this did not fix my back from the K-Skin dilemma that Winnie Harlow put me in. I don't know if I can do this for another day. This has mistletoe, allantoin, panthenol, that vitamin B5. It's also got adenosine, which is fantastic for wrinkles, especially around this area. This also has niacinamide, which we know is great for oil regulation and creating more ceramides in the skin. And while it is a good serum, it was just not the top of the top. And if you wanted to incorporate this into your routine, I think it would be fine, especially if you are someone who has dry skin with the occasional breakout. But for me, who is very acne prone, currently struggling with some breakouts and really going through it, this was one of those products that, you know, I skin cared, but my skin didn't care. Isn't it great when that happens? <laughs> The third product that I tried was this pretty purple bottle, which is an eggplant clearing cleansing oil pad. You see, eggplants are arguably pretty great. If you've never had a vegan eggplant parmesan, you do not want to miss out. The Gardein little chicken cutlets, mwah, perfection. But eggplant, when it comes to skincare, actually has some surprising benefits. Eggplant contains lupiol, which is antibacterial and slightly anti-inflammatory. And in these cleansing pads, this actually did a really good job. I find a lot of cleansing pads to be overrated, I feel like they don't break down my makeup and my waterproof mascara as well as I want them to, including all my sunscreen, but this delivered. This eggplant product literally has water, cyclopentasiloxane, and yes, this anti-inflammatory, antibacterial eggplant. And what's super cool about it is that when I actually opened it up, uh, I thought that I got like a bad batch. I was like, oh my God, there's mold growing on it. That's not mold. You can actually see like the little tiny pieces of eggplant. Like they're kind of adorable. Alas, silly medical esthetician, she thought they were eggplant plant pieces, but they're cotton seed particles. <laughs> this formula also has jojoba oil in it, which you know is one of my favorite ingredients. And yes, it can help to break down makeup and all of the other things that get on our face. Let me actually show you how well this works. Now, I started off using these in the shower and it was really great because I was, look at that. Damn, girl, damn. I started off using these in the shower and um, you know, using them to cleanse my skin. And then I realized I can actually use these out of the shower. These are not makeup wipes and I do not want you to use them as such. But if you are trying to cleanse your skin on the go or in the shower, this is how I have been breaking down my makeup. When the papa of Papa Recipe actually started creating these cosmetics for his daughter, one of the first ingredients he used was jojoba oil, which you know is one of my absolute favorites. And the fact that they still use jojoba oil in a lot of the products and like at a good quality, it is fantastic. And if you are someone who struggles with skin irritation or skin conditions, this is fragrance-free and dye-free. Not to mention, it's also got ceramides in it. And again, I don't want to wipe off all of my sunscreen and um, my makeup. I'm just going to be the one-eyed cast today, I guess. But this actually leaves the skin feeling nourished. Like it leaves the skin not feeling dry or stripped, but actually hydrated and smooth. It feels like I applied a serum onto my skin, even though I absolutely didn't. This has quickly become one of my absolute favorites, especially if I'm in a pinch. And yes, I have even used these on my armpits if I'm like on the go. But these are wonderful. And I never thought that I would fall this much in love with an eggplant product. And I promise it's not just because the jar is purple and it's not just because it has a really cool 
opening flippy flap that keeps it fresh, or because of the price. This is an excellent formula, and it is one that I say, come to mama, absolutely. Now the real question is, do I sit here being a happily caffeinated, elephant-mugged, one-eyed Cass, or do I like go and put mascara back on this other eye? Ah, it. <laughs> oh damn, I look like two different people. <laughs> Hi, I woke up, I'm bright eyed and bushy tailed. Bitch, I'm hitting snooze for 20 more minutes. <laughs> Outside of the eggplant products, they also had this carrot line, specifically some dark spot correcting options. Now, these I thought were interesting. I have to say that although I deal with a little bit of hyperpigmentation and redness, I am not someone who struggles with deep hyperpigmentation that sticks around for years at a time. But this carrot dark spot solution cream was something different from the regular hyperpigmentation products we see. You know, there are a lot of ingredients that we always look for in hyperpigmentation, things like vitamin C, things like hydroquinone, things like alpha arbutin. But a lot of people don't realize that things like turmeric can actually be extraordinarily helpful when it comes to dark spots and brightening of the skin. I found this to be a very nice moisturizer. They say it's a dark spot solution cream. This is a moisturizer that is safe for people who struggle with hyperpigmentation or with pigmentation issues, and it is very hydrating. This does have turmeric, this has ceramides. Yes, it has carrots as the bottle suggests, but it also has fig. The one thing I will say is that this does have clover and it has a couple things that while not technically fragrance could be acting as fragrancing ingredients. And if you're someone who's super sensitive, I just want you to be aware of that. The carrot root extract is at 3,500 parts per million. And I really like that the entire brand tells you how many parts per million of their actives are in each product. Is that an absolute essential for me to purchase skincare? No, absolutely not. But the fact that they do is nice. So you know how much of it you're actually getting. And yes, you do remember that carrots have carotenoids. They're also related to that vitamin A family, which uh, basically retinoids. So this is not a retinoid product. I want to make that clear. This is a dark spot product. Product, but this is a nice hydrating cream. And a lot of people in Korea, they look for brightening of the skin. Usually that's done with things like niacinamide and vitamin C. It's hard to find a lot of Korean products with turmeric or that actually help with dark spots and hyperpigmentation. Since a lot of people who are ethnically Korean don't usually struggle with dark spots and hyperpigmentation as much as maybe other races, nationalities, or ethnicities do. And although I found this to be a very nice one, this one was not specifically for me. I would say that this is a, I skin cared, but my skin didn't care. Because although it was nice, this just was not a slam dunky in my routine. Now, on the other hand, they did decide to put together a package of masks that literally put together the eggplant and carrot together. And contrary to this, my skin gave many fucks about this collection. <laughs> this right here has 10 masks. 10. Most face masks that I try to find, especially from Korea, they're a couple bucks a pop. These are affordable and effective. And I have to say, these are some of the most fluid filled little face masks that I have ever used. I'm that person who puts on a face mask and then I take whatever is left over and I use it as a serum on my arms, etc. And then when I'm done with the face mask, I fold it over and I shove it on my neck. This face mask has got to be one of the juiciest, floofiest that I have ever used. I absolutely love these. They are inexpensive. They are affordable and you are getting your money's worth. Now, I love that they have both the carrot and the eggplant. A lot of the ingredients include turmeric, vitamin C, allantoin, all very hydrating, soothing ingredients for the face. And although one of them contains evening primrose oil, which I do want you to be aware of, oh my God, look at this. It is literally dripping. It is dripping. It is so juicy. It is so masky. And the great part about this is that these are also biodegradable. So they're actually better for the environment and I don't feel guilty while using them, which is a shocker because I feel guilty about and everything because that is just my psychological default. Hey, <laughs> look at how juicy this is. I haven't even squeezed out the goodness in here yet, and I am already covered in this stuff. Look at how goopular, goopular, globular, juicy, hydrating, moist. Look at how delicious these face masks are. And you get 10 in a pack. I have found these to be phenomenal. I have used these on our Discord Patreon chats and um, I do not regret a single second of them. This has to be one of the best pop up recipe products that I've used. And this is absolutely a come to mama, as in come to me, spend an afternoon with me. Please don't ever leave my skincare countertop. And because there's literally 10 of them, you can actually go through them in a decent time. This is the way that I would recommend getting your carrot fix. This is phenomenal. And if you are prone to that hyperpigmentation or pigmentation, this mask is what I would recommend. I'm just gonna like leave this on for the rest of the video. <laughs> I have successfully poured face mask all over the table and the floor because yes, 
I'm an adult and I sit at a table now. <laughs> Something else that I tried and was very surprising for me is this. This is the Tea Tree Control BHA soap. Now, when I saw this, this is a pack of three, and I thought to myself, oh my goodness, this is going to be amazing for my acne. This was actually quite disappointing for the face. I would not recommend it for the face, but boy, for the ingrown hairs on my legs, I've got a new best friend. This right here is indeed a BHA soap. It has salicylic acid and jojoba, so I thought it would be great for my face. But when I actually used it, I found these to be a little bit scratchy. As you can see, it's this green soap and it has these kind of sesame seeds in it. And um, at least they're not walnut shells, but I found them to be very scratchy and not very good. The main ingredients are also coconut, sustainable palm, and like grapeseed oil. And while those are nice, I was just like, hmm. It's a little weird for my face. Like it just was not cutting it. And when I use soaps, I usually use them in the shower. If I use them by the sink, I end up with these weird soap bars that collect bacteria and fly everywhere. So I use this in the shower, okay? I looked down at my legs and you would not believe the ingrown hairs that I'm dealing with. And with ingrown hairs, you can have many different types, right? You have the ones that curl up under the skin and then the ones that come out and then jab you back in if you have curly hair, like hi, me. When I tell you that hurts, oh, it hurts. So what do I do? I suds up. This actually made the perfect ingrown hair leg exfoliator, believe it or not. Again, it has these mild little physical granules, but mainly it's the BHA in here. And because it has oils, it makes things slippery. So when I was shaving my armpits or doing something, I could actually use this as a shaving cream. And it has helped with the ingrown hairs and the little bumps that I get from razor burn. This has been phenomenal, just not for my face. And it doesn't leave my skin feeling overly stripped either. A lot of soaps can be very, very stripping, especially because soaps are like saponified oils. And while this isn't a hydrating soap per se, the oils in here here were nourishing to the skin. This does have tea tree as well, which is antibacterial. It's really the name of the soap and it is at 5,000 parts per million, which again, I love that they disclose exactly how much is in here. And honestly, this was one of those double duty beauties that I did not expect to actually work for me, but it worked in a double duty way that I was not expecting. And it did a really, really good job of it. Something else that I used in the shower that was a major disappointment was again, from this blemish line. And um, I have to admit, you know, when I when I do things wrong, I have to admit when there's walnut shells in a product that I didn't realize. Then we've got the I'm From Fig Scrub Mask. Now, when I saw this in this box, I was so excited. It's got fig, which is wonderful. They've got some sweet almond in here, which we love. They've also got sucrose, which is sugar. And I was like, oh, that could be a little bit scratchy on the skin. But you know, when you put water on it, it dissolves and those crystals don't really rub at the skin. And then I went down the ingredients list and I saw walnut shell powder. This is fig. Why? And I have to admit, when I actually liked a product that didn't end up working out for me. This was the Blemish Enzyme Powder Cleanser. And when I saw this, I got so excited. Specifically because this seemed like a really great alternative to the Wish Trend one. The Wish Trend had like this green bottle and um, it had a lot of sodium bicarbonate, AKA baking soda. And it was good, but it would kind of foam up and strip at the skin. So when I saw this, I was very excited. The main ingredients in here are actually cornstarch and rice powder, which are much more dental on the skin. However, However, unfortunately, you guessed it, this also contains tiny fragments of freaking walnuts. Look, I'm so mad. I'm just eating my skincare at this point. You know what? It's time to do this thing. <laughs> ah double duty beauty at its finest, even though this is a come to mama product. I started using this powder exfoliator and I actually loved this. Again, being someone who grew up with acne, I fell in love with the scrubby dubby feeling. Is it good for your skin? Absolutely not. Is chemical exfoliation more even and gentle? Yes, but did I fucking love this? Oh, I kind of did. This has sake and the enzyme part is from Papian. It comes from papayas and it's at almost 2000 parts per million in this product. And this is a good enzyme cleanser, but it's also got fragrance, which was kind of a disappointment since most of the other products didn't have it. And this is a perfect example of a product that I used. I thought I turned and learned my ingredients, but I obviously didn't look at them critically enough. And I ended up actually kind of liking it, but then feeling horrible about it and realizing that just because you like it doesn't mean it's good for you. Hmm? Yeah, text that to your best friend who's still obsessed. Like they're not gonna text you back. Stop it. Did that hurt? I'm sorry. This does have lactobionic acid. This has a lot of things that are really good. And for someone who has very, very resilient skin, if you don't have scoop dermatographia, give me 30 seconds and see what happens. If you don't have irritation prone skin, if you are okay with the walnut scrubby dubs, then go for it. But for me, this was for the feet. It belongs on the feet. It belongs on the hands. I am not putting this on my face anymore. And there are other exfoliating scrubs that I like better. Also, hi, Dermatographia, do you see her? Erythema, 
Hello, she has entered the chat. She is the one who is texting back. This is bottom level. This was not for me. The fragrance was a disappointment. And the best part about this was probably the price and actually the package, because again, they do this post-consumer recycled packaging and all of their products are forestry certified, made with soy ink. They are acid free. They are long life, heavy metal abstinence. They have all of the certifications, okay? Including the authenticity one because so many brands liked them and tried to rip them off. Don't we love it when that happens? Imitate is the sincerest form of flattery. Now, although this cleanser was a disaster, there is another eggplant cleanser that my face frickin' loved. This is the Eggplant Mild Cleansing Foam, and I found this to not only be a good face cleanser, but a good body cleanser. Again, I have been doing a lot of my cleansing in the shower, and when I do, you know, my cleanser usually gets on my body. This was one of the nicest, sudsiest, non-stripping cleansers that I've used in quite a while. Like, this is a K-Beauty cleanser that I can get behind. The ingredients are actually quite basic. It's just a gentle foaming cleanser. There's no fragrance, nothing irritating in it. But then it does have that eggplant at 3,600 parts per million. Again, antibacterial, antimicrobial. It doesn't strip the skin. I really had a great time with this. Now, it's not purple. It's like a white cream. I wished it were purple. If they could make it purple without dyes, I would be very happy. This was also not overly liquidy. It's actually kind of a, like a pasty substance. So a little goes a long way. And I have been thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this. I wouldn't say this is a come to mama product. Like, although I will definitely be rebuying this. I feel like this is a double duty beauty. You can use it on the face, on the chest, on the back. This works for someone who maybe has acne prone skin, who maybe has sensitive skin. If you're overly oily, you can use this, but you might need something to degrease. And if you're overly dry, you definitely want to use a moisturizer when you're out of the shower. But this is phenomenal and it really feels like a staple in a routine. This plus a sunscreen is literally what I would put in a K-Beauty starter pack. I absolutely love this. The price is right. The packaging is great. The ingredients are great. It makes my face feel great. All of those things don't account for the fact that the package is purple. Now, there was also this bitch. This bitch turned my life and my skincare routine upside down. You see, I have been using an essence, specifically the Pyeong King Yule Essence, for about two years now, ever since our beautiful butterfly, Shenny, got me hooked on it. It basically is this ferment filtrate that is fragrance-free, it is alcohol-free, it is hydrating, it is nourishing, it is soothing, and it is like grape jelly for the face. And I thought there was nothing that could replace it. I have not found anything as soothing, as well-absorbing, and as wonderful as my Pyeong King Yule. Until this bitch came in and decided to tear apart our happy little skincare family. And I am not mad about it. This is the, again, noble rot ingredient. And um, this isn't just like a grape ingredient, but it is the fermented grape fungus. And holy sh**, is this hydrating? Is this soothing? Is this nourishing to the skin? I literally feel like this is the first product I can truly say is a level up from my Pyeongkang Yule Essence Toner. It absorbs well. It has beneficial ingredients. And yes, it is fragrance and dye free. It has panthenol, that vitamin B5 for hydration. It also has adenosine, which yes, we use in emergency medicine, but even outside of that, it helps with fine lines and wrinkles. And this is one of the products that directly after putting it on, I see the difference. And again, I never thought that a fungus is something I would be so excited to have on my face, but this Noble Rot is a lifting, hydrating, fermented essence that has replaced my Pyongkang Yule. This is a come to mama product. This is one that I will buy over and over again. And the size as well, it's 6.7 fluid ounces. Like you are getting bang for your buck. Not to mention the forestry certified, the soy ink, all of the things. Papa recipe made a recipe that is way more delicious than my father's or my mother's or my entire family's cooking. And I am so happy to say that I regularly put this on my face and I will continue to do so. But based on your skin and your needs, I would love to know whether or not you agree with my tier list and what you think of Papa Recipe. A huge thank you to them for providing me these products, not just for myself, but also in giveaways for beautiful butterflies like you and for working with us on this content. But when it comes to K-Beauty, they're just doing something right over there. And this brand specifically is doing it right. If you are looking for K-Beauty that is sensitive skin safe, might I recommend the eggplant and the noble rot? Uh, the blemish one, eh, not my personal favorite, might work for you, but I'd say, not a 10 out of 10. And the tea tree as well, although it is good, it is not a top favorite. But the eggplant carrot pack, on the other hand, yes, this is so good that not only do I put it on my face, but as demonstrated, it also goes on my arms, on my neck, on the table, on the floor, on my pants, and everywhere else. Do remember to reapply your sunscreen. Unfortunately, Papa Recipe does not have one. Always stay hydrated, even if it's caffeine, and be youthful both inside and out. I love you, and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. Love you guys. Bye.